fellow marketers, Professor Walters here, and today we're in the Serengeti National Park in Tanzania. And today we're gonna to talk about is something about market research, and it's gonna talk about the questions we ask, and the types of questions we ask. And so we're gonna look at are the differences between structured questions and unstructured questions in market surveys, okay? So if you think about a structured question, this is a question where we give the respondents the answers already, and they have to choose one of those. It's kind of like a multiple choice test. You can only choose one of the four answers, and the thing is with these it's really simple to analyze we can see which one did people choose most so for example this morning they had a nice you know survey here at the camp we're at and they're like hey what did you like most about your time at the camp was it your room was it the food was it the service and that was the three choices but my thing was is I actually loved all of them equally and so one of the drawbacks to a structured question is the fact that you don't get extra information you only get answers for the answers you already give them now that's a good thing because we can analyze it very well we can see that, oh, most people chose the comfort of the tent as their most favorite thing, and the least number of people picked the, the food. But the thing is, everybody liked the food, so you kind of can get kind of misleading answers that way, so do be careful with that, okay? It's kind of like, you know, you ask your parents, who's your favorite kid? You know, me or my brother? There's no, I love you both equally answer. It's one or the other. It doesn't mean I don't love the other kid. I love you both but that's not one of the answers we have. And so that really limits the respondent's ability to give us more information because we'd like to learn more from them maybe, okay? But the thing is those structured questions are simple, fast, easy, and if there's certain things we wanna know, we wanna know what they like one or which one do they like better. Did you like seeing the giraffes better or did you like seeing the zebras better? Hey, then we have a better idea Then maybe we see that everyone likes giraffes better. We put giraffes on the side of our safari jeeps instead of zebras, okay? Now, if we have unstructured questions, these are a bit different. These are open open-ended questions we let people answer on their own. The thing is, is with this, we get all kinds of great insight, things we might not even been thinking of, like, oh, I didn't think about the importance of having a charger for the walkie-talkie in the room. Well, yeah, I would have put that in, because last night we had a cheetah walking in front of our uh, tent, and there was a hippo around here, and there was cape buffaloes all over. So we needed to call them up to let them know, hey, this is going on. And the thing is, they're like, the battery is low. We're like, oh my God, okay. Hey, but that wasn't one of the questions in the structure one, but in the unstructured one, we can tell them these things. Also, we can tell them things like, oh, there was, the service was fantastic, and Ezekiel, he was awesome. He helped us out with every meal, and Stephen with our room here and our tent, he was awesome as well. And that's what unstructured questions do. It gives your respondents free reign to do everything. But the problem is, is as a marketer, how do I analyze that? Like if I say it was good, what does good mean for me versus somebody else, right? And so sometimes it can be a bit too much information. How do we take it all in? How do we interpret that information? So it takes more time and probably more money to kind of answer all those things, okay? So kind of think of it that way. I mean, if you look at it, there's a reason why professors like multiple choice tests, because we can get it graded easily. We can put it through a Scantron machine and the grades are ready. Versus essay exams, then we have to read through all of them, see all the answers, see what the people really meant. Like, do they mean brand? when they said marketing hmm I'm not really sure here and it takes a lot more time all right so as a marketer usually what you're gonna do is you're gonna actually do a combination of both because you'll have your usual question kind of things you know answer is this important to you one to five and, and put that on there and then at the end like is there anything else you'd like to add so for example maybe you're in a class at the end of the semester they give you a survey about the professor and the class okay and on there it'll say oh on a scale of one to five five being excellent one being poor how do you rate the teachers effect effectiveness. How do you rate the textbook that's on here? And they have that. But then on the back, they might say, hey, what are some of the strengths of the professor? What should we tell them they're doing well? Hey, what are some of the weaknesses of the professor that they can improve? And so they do that so they can have the standardized answer so they can say, well, you have a 4.9 rating, so you're a good professor in terms of teaching. But also they have the unstructured stuff like, hey, here's some issues you might want to look at to get it even higher on that, you know, on, on your numbers. So that's why you really use both structured and unstructured questions. So if you're doing market research, Research. I hope this helps you understand the difference between the two. If you're studying for the exam, I hope this helps you get a better grade on that exam. And I wish you all the best. If you want to learn more about business marketing or going on YouTube, check us out at Professor Walters uh, on our YouTube channel here. Hit that subscribe button. We put out new marketing, business, and YouTube videos every week. And wish you all the best. And I will say bye from the Serengeti National Park in Tanzania. Bye.